guys, it's coffee time. And there's something really wrong with this picture and I couldn't figure it out until I literally hit play. I was like moving the camera around trying to figure out like this doesn't look right. Something's wrong with the framing. I can't figure out what's going wrong. It's the chair. Allow me to explain. So normally when I'm at my computer, my chair is like this. But when I need to film, my chair goes like this. <laughs> I don't know why. I just prefer filming with it up higher. I'm not sure what that is, like if that's a psychological thing or what. But for some reason today when I sat down to film this, I was like, something's wrong. What have I not done? I can't quite figure it out. Do you want to see something so pretty? I'm really excited. <laughs> I can't quite get it over here. There we go. Yeah. He's so pretty. I love it. So that's the mic arm that I was telling you about. It's actually like really cool. And then um, borrowed the microphone from Jesse to see if I like it uh, and then possibly get my own. And then um, all the other, all the other gear going on. I'm very excited about it. And what's awesome is that, uh, cause like I have the pop filter, but I might not need it all the time because unless I'm like all up in its business, like making some smooth jams. Um, I don't think that there's going to be any problems with like puzz and tuzz and poppy sounds. Right. So I'm kind of like, Oh, maybe I can just leave the pop filter off at least for now, you know, unless it, Unless there's a reason for it to be an issue. Um, but for the most part, I think I can just have it like like off to the side near my face. Uh, and Jesse said that he could hear me totally fine when it was like pretty far away from me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm so jacked about it. It looks all like legit and official. I love it. Now the only thing that I'm worried about is the cat being like, what's this? And me going, no. Do you want to see how cute he is? How cute is my Sherlock kitty? How cute are you taking a break from all of the cat mysteries? Sleeping on your cardigan, of which you possibly wear sometimes. While well, smoking his pipe, obviously. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> um, so last night, I made an amazing dinner. And I was really excited about it because I hadn't had spaghetti squash in a really long time. And so I was like, uh, I'm going to look up some spaghetti squash recipes. So I found one that had a really high rating on all recipes. I was like, all right, I think that this is the time. I think that I'm going to go and get a spaghetti squash. Everything else that's on this list I have, except for like one or two things. So I'm just going to run to the grocery store, get the things I need, run back and make dinner. And if everybody hates it, I'll never make it again. But at least I'll have tried making spaghetti squash on my own because I've never done that before. My mom has always made it. So um, a lot of times, because it comes out in really long strings, that's why it's called spaghetti squash, it looks a lot like noodles. Uh, but the texture isn't the same. It has kind of a crunchy texture. But it's delicious. It's a really, really good squash and oddly easy to find at the grocery store, at least if you're in the United States. Um, I've never had a problem finding it. But anyway, so I like, made this meal. I was like, I really hope... I really hope that everybody doesn't hate it. Even if it isn't like a scenario where they say, oh, you should totally make this again. This is really good. If it's at least a scenario where it was edible, that's all that I want. And it wound up being so good. And even Mike, who hates vegetables, he loved it. He was like, I think because you're like tricking me into thinking they're noodles, I'm able to not place it in my mind as like a vegetable. Like he's, he's one of those types of people where like, if his brain is going vegetable, 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 as he's eating it, he's like, mm. uh, but he like, he really liked it. Ro really liked it. So jacked. And then this morning, so what it was is it's, um, spaghetti squash and you like, you cut it in half and then cook it in the oven. And then while that's happening, you saute, uh, onion, garlic, tomato, and then you add to get once the spaghetti squash is done you like pull all the strands out and then you mix that with the veggies that you sauteed up and fresh olives and if you want feta cheese um and everybody said that it was really good with the feta cheese i tried a bite with the feta cheese but i was very worried about my tummy so i was like uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna be gentle with this um but 
wound up really, really liking it. So it turns into like kind of, um, it looks almost like an antipasto. And then this morning we had leftovers. And so I added egg and then made them into like little patties and grilled them for breakfast. And it was delicious again. It smelled so good coming out of the fridge. It was one of those scenarios where you're like, oh man, just out of the fridge, all of the, the like tastes have mixed together and it smells so delicious and it was great that way. Um, I will link you guys in the description to this recipe because it was so good. And I know so many people that can't have pasta or staying away from pasta. And I was like, if even Mike liked this, I feel like that's a sign. I feel like that's a sign that maybe a lot of people could like this. Uh, so I think it, you guys should try it. If you're able to find spaghetti squash, I think it's worth trying. The other thing that I did today that I'm like wary to even admit that I tried. So I don't have health insurance. I don't have dental insurance. And the last time that I went in, um, I had a lot of problem areas in my mouth. Not anything that needed to be worked on, but is basically when they look in your mouth and then say, okay, well, um, here, 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 and here might be cavities. So next time you come in, we might have to work on them. And I was like, uh. so even though I don't have dental insurance, I try to go in once a year. Um, so <laughs> my mom was like, well, uh, in December, it'll be a year. So when you come back here in December, um, I'm going to make an appointment for you so that you can get your teeth looked at. I was like, oh no. And then a friend of mine who is like all into hokum, like my family is, um, we love just like trying things and kind of watching the results and seeing if it changes anything, trying not to like have the placebo effect, <laughs> trying to be like critical about it. Um, and a friend of mine was like, oh, you should totally, just to see if it helps at all, you should totally try oil pulling. <sighs> so what oil pulling is, is it's where you take a tablespoon of either coconut oil or peanut oil, and in the morning, right when you wake up, you swish it around in your mouth for 20 minutes. And it's supposed to naturally pull toxins out of your body. Um, which is one of those things where I'm like, does it though? And like there are all these people that are saying, oh man, my skin looks so much clearer. It reversed one of my cavities. Like my gums look great. I used to have really bad allergies and now I don't have as bad of allergies. And I'm like, really though? Really? So I want to try it. So I did the first time this morning. Um, and I am taking pictures every day so that I can't be like, I think that my teeth look whiter and like my gums look really healthy. I'm taking pictures, guys, taking pictures every day of my mouth so that by the time I go into the dentist, I can be like, didn't do anything. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like there's no, I couldn't find anything that was like, here's the science behind it. There's nothing like that. And um, obviously I feel that a 20 minute oil swish, obviously if we spent half that time on our teeth just alone, uh, for the most part, we'd all have okay teeth. <laughs> you know, I'm like, well, I feel like for the most part, uh, we don't even spend more than a minute on our teeth a day. Like a lot of us, you know, so most of us don't floss very well. Um, if we brush our teeth, it's very brief. I was like, but some, there are plenty of people who every day have been swishing oil for 20 minutes. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I do know. Okay. Here's something that was interesting to me though, is that, um, I swished the oil. I used coconut oil. I swished the oil and, um, did it really slowly so that my jaw didn't like wear out. And, uh, I spit it out and it was gross. <laughs> it's like, if you have a really strong gag reflex, do not try this. Don't try it at all because, oh my goodness, when I put that in my mouth, I was like, 
That's a lot of oil in my mouth right now. <laughs> Not into that. Um, but, uh, oh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, um, all of the teeth that were, that are problem areas all hurt which I thought was weird. I was like, why? My assumption was, is that, um, there wouldn't be any change with doing oil pulling. Um, that I wouldn't see any, any difference or feel any difference. And I think that it's weird that all of the teeth that are problem teeth, um, all were hurting after I switch the oil. If any of you know of like a scientific reason for this, I would love to read it because that's, that's one of the things that makes me go, this doesn't, I don't think that this, I can't, I'm willing to try it until December and see, document my teeth, but, <laughs> but there's like that heavily cynical part of me that's like, I'm not going to count on this working. And I would love to read something that tells me why this would work. You know? Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's curious to me. It's very curious to me. I was reading about it a lot today. Af especially, I read about it more after my teeth were hurting. I was like, that's weird. I'm going to start looking this up, but nothing tells me anything specific. Anyways. So, <laughs> so that's the, um, the new weird thing that, that I'm trying. I have a, a fancy microphone arm that I'm really excited about. Try a new recipe that is delicious and you should all eat it. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.